Hi guys, and welcome back to this Model Engineers workshop. Today in the workshop, the axle pump valves. Come on, let's get started. Hi guys, I'm the chef. Today in the workshop we're going to keep going on bits and pieces for the axle pump. Today we're going to make the uh, two valves that actually are the suction and discharge part of this pump. So the drawing calls for stainless steel. Don't have any of the right size, don't even have brass of the right size, but I do have brass in this size. This is uh, 14 and a half mil, something like that. And so we're going to, what we're going to do, plan of action is to turn a section down to 10 mil, get all the bits and pieces into it. And I part that off probably at about 50. I only need 13.2. Then I'm going to flip the whole thing around and build another one, build a second one on the other end. Once we get that done, we're off into the mill. We have to mill into each end, then three little flutes, uh, which shouldn't be too difficult. And uh, then back into the lathe, part them off, tidy them up, get the O-rings on them. And then there's two more bits ready to go. Right, guys. So once I'm done, I'll bring you back. Uh, once I'm set up, rather, not when I'm done, otherwise there's no point. Is there? Once I'm set up in the lathe, uh, with this in there, we'll just do a quick face off, do a bit of marking out, work out roughly where we've got to be, and start making the first one. Here we go. Right, guys. So in the lathe now, material, just going to do a quick face off, and then we're going to turn about 15 mil down to uh, 10 mil just to give us the whole body shape and then we've got to turn the next bit down to uh, 7.3 and then a bit in the middle with the parting tool down to 6.4 just to form the basic structure of the valve itself. So let's get this first one done shall we? Here it goes. Right, we'll just have a quick measure, see what we're up to, or what we're down to. Let's have a look, we need to be 10 mil. Not quite right, that's better, yeah. So we are on 11 points. Let's have a look, see, so 11 points. What are we gonna say that is? Uh, and then this end, two, two, five, three, three, five, eleven point three five, one point three five to come off. So let's go. This will take about point eight off. Fairly critical dimension, I get the feeling of. It seems it's inside a pump. 
just has to allow a bit of water flow go past it, but still let's get it to as close as we can. 10.545, right. So let's get the next bit off, which will be that bit, and then one last remeasure and check it again. Let's have a look, see. All right. And we are at, let me show you. There's 10, let's have a look at this end. And I think we'll call that 10, don't you? Close enough. Right, so now we've got to go 11 deep now from this end. Get it down to 7.3. So what did I say 11? So let's think about 10, about 10 and a half just to give a bit of clean up space. So that's 3, 1, 3, 3, 3, plus 25, 19, 19 plus 5, 24, 44. Right, so it's just over four dial turns on this load anyway. So we've got to go down, did I say, to 7.3. We're at 10, so just short of 3 millimeters. So let's take off some there. We'll get that in. Now what did I say? What did it? 4, uh, 27, 25, 7. Four full turns and 18 divisions. Here we go. Do a bit of a check on that, should be 11 millimeters. My calculations were correct, and we are spot on. I don't know if you could see that, but uh, believe me, right? So, uh, we were at 10, I need to get to 7.3. I've just taken off 0.8, so this should be somewhere in about 9.2. And lo and behold, yes, it is. There we go, right? 9.2 minus another 8 would bring us down to. 8.4, here we go. Another two cuts off there now. That should bring us down to about 7.6. I feel about right. 7.56, or a little bit over. 6, 7, 7. So we're at about, oops, we'll get this in the right place on the camera. As you can see, we're at over 7, but less than 8. And I think we're going to call that 7.7. .7. So we've got to get to 7.3. One little final cut of 0.4. Wind the dials in just that amount of divisions, just 10 little divisions. And we'll take off the last piece of here.
Seven point three. Yep. There you go again. Closer to seven this time. Two five is just slightly over. Three is good. Three five is just under. Yep. Seven point three. So we've got that one bang on. Okay. So that's great. Now I'm just going to have to change the tool to my little narrow. Excuse the hand. There. Tool post. There we go. Put that back on its holder. Now, got the little parting tool in the tool post now. So we're going to, that's not the little one, is it? That's the big one. Good job I spotted that. Would have been a bit of a waste. Now, I know that this little parting tool is a millimetre and a half wide, and we need to cut a slot. Two millimeters wide and get the get the di dimension then down to it's gonna get contact there, reset the dial oh, to zero. Yep. Yeah, get a touch off, which is there. Okay, now we've got to go from seven point three. 6.4, so 0 0.9 of a millimeter. Now, on the cross slide, 0 0.9 is 22 and a half divisions. Right, so let's do this. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll, as I move the tool back half a mil, go in again to the same number. Uh, what did I say now? 22, and we've got to go into 22 and a half from zero. Okay, let me clear that. Uh, let's see if we can get this. Here we go. Backlash. And I've got to come back 25 divisions on this one. So we we'll go to there and we we'll go back in to 22 and a half. There we go. And that should do it. What I am going to do is I'm just going to get a small file going on there. There's a little bit of a burr because we've got to get an O-ring onto that. So let's just get the small files out. Here we go. Let's wind that tool clear. Now, as I've always said, even though this is a small file, it's got a handle on it. Let's just get that burr taken off. and smooth. Let me just grab one of the O-rings, see if it fits. 
put the vice back in the vice. Put the file back in where it came from. Uh, here we go. It's gonna be one of those, isn't it? Come on. There we are. So there we go, that's the O-ring we're dealing with. Should just slot over that with a little bit of a stretch. Yep. Oh, go on. And it's cold in the workshop today, even the O-rings are cold. Yeah, there we go. Slide that up and it should, he says with a hopeful smile in his voice. Oh, click. Look at that. Right. There we go, guys. That will give you the idea. We're going to mill three flutes into this eventually. And then it will come back into the lathe and we can part it off. And uh, just put a, when we're parting off, we'll just put a little chamfer on the top edge as well. Right. So. I'll stop it there for now. I'm going to go and do, flip this around. Well, I'm going to pull this out, part it off to a reasonable length, about 50 mil, and then work with a smaller piece, put another one of these on the, the other end, which will be coming out. And when I get that done, I'll be on the bench and I'll show you how far I've got. All right, guys, back in at it. Right, guys, so there we go. One on each end. I've just popped the O-rings on just for you to see. Actually, let me just zoom in. There we go. Right now, the drawings say to mount this somehow and to mill three curved flutes into the end of each one. Let me center that up. So I just consulted the great oracle in the sky known as Facebook. And there's a group on there for wombat builders. If anybody is building a wombat and they're not a member of the group, they should be. And if anybody wants to build a wombat, well, that's the place to start. Um, and one of the gentlemen said on there, said he just didn't bother. He just filed the three flats on there. So I thought, well, that's a cracking idea. That's better than trying to hold it, hold this uh, in the milling vise and then mill three curve slots into it, you know. So he, what have I come up with? Now, of course, of course, you can't, you could just clank that into the vise, but yeah, I need something a bit more secure, I think. So I'll just set this up. Over here, sorry for kicking the, the camera, guys. And I'll just move you up and round. Go, I'll bring you up a bit more as well on the tripod. So there we are, top of the vise. We're going to focus. Come on, no, we're not. All right, move you around then. Bring you back out. That might help. Right, so as you can see, V block with the clamp on it. Got that in the soft jaws of the vise. I don't want to jam this, put this into the vise jaws itself just to go and mark, put some marks on it. And as you can see now, all I can I can just do now use my small files or a big file, and I can just file the three flats. They've only got to come up eight mil. This is nine millimeters now that's got left here. And go file, turn it around a bit, file, turn it around a bit, file, and then flip the whole thing around again and do the other end. Uh, I'm not going to video that. That'd be really boring. So when I get them done, I'll uh, be back on the bench and then it quick show and tell. And then we'll go back into the lathe, start the parting off, put the chamfer on the head, and then part the whole thing off. All right, guys, I'll be back in a tick. Okay, guys. So. Few minutes worth of filing. You can see I filed three flats on each end just so that water can get past them. The little o-ring goes in here where my thumbnail is and it just slides up and down. This is a fitting we made a few videos ago, suction and discharge. I don't know what number it was, but you can see that once that o-ring is on there, it's just going to squeeze in and it'll just do that. Just pop up and down with the, as the water pumps and uh, it'll let the water pass or it'll stop it going backwards down, down the way it's not supposed to go right i'm going to get this back in the lathe set up the small parting tool the narrow one and we're going to get these two parted off uh once i've made a little bit of a start on the parting i'll use this small file just put a chamfer on the top of the head just to take off any burrs the rest have already done of course you saw me do that and that'll be the two bits that i'll be able to get done today all right guys
Give me a second, I'm going back to the lathe. Right guys, so back in the lathe, a small, narrow uh, parting tool set up, piece in the chuck, you can see the triangle on there and there. So I've got the distance now set, so I'm just going to part in about a couple of mil, then I'm going to use my small file to chamfer the head. Let's let me kill that fan. It's cold in the workshop today, so I had the heating on, so hopefully you could hear me. Ah, right, and uh, I'll just, with the handle of course, can you see, yep, and I'll just put a little chamfer on that once it's running, while the machine's running, and then we finish off the parting off. Right, here goes. <laughs> So there we have it, there's the body of one of the little valves, I've just got to file that little tit off the end of it there, you can see the slot where the o-ring goes, triangle filed on it so that the water can get past it, and uh, file that off, this job's done. Right, I'll bring you back when I'm on the bench and I've got the other one parted off. Good, there we go, just filed off those little tits off the end. And get the O-rings out again. Get that one on there. There we go. Put them into place. Come on. There we go. Get the other one on. And it's a job done. Again, these go into a pile of small bits ready for the day when we can put together a big bit. Not far off now, I don't think. So, there we are guys, two little poppet valves, nice little couple of hours work in there, there we are, right, bring you back in a tick. Right guys, that's it for this one, two more small bits done, it's almost like watchmaking as this compared to some of the bits we've already made. Right, so I'll finish this off like I normally do, if you can find it in your heart and soul to give me a like, a subscribe and ring the bell for the notifications. Anybody out there who's just a watcher, please, please subscribe. It's doing me great guns. We're moving on. It's really good fun. And I'd like you to come along and join, and join in with me. Right, guys. So this is Chef saying see you later. And till next time.